girlfriend is a goddess. You're kidding me. My psychology degree just kicks into overdrive. So she'll be able to keep up with Freya. Background on Bela video. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Freya and Bela video. Oh my goodness. It is time for Little Miss Bela's lunch. Ah, that's so good. So I have some Tritos here. I just wanted to sit down and film a little like background on Bela video while I just like nonchalantly train her. And do not worry before I get comments and before you even ask, I most definitely filmed all these videos of how I'm teaching her the touch, how I taught her sit. We're working on like weight and lay downs. All of those are getting filmed and they will be up. So do not worry. But today I just wanted to talk more about like her and I guess like my decisions behind her as like a golden retriever and where she even came from. If you guys follow me on my main channel or even like on my personal Instagram, you'd have already known that this is coming way before like the video happened. But I know that some of you guys already commented on the video of us bringing her home. Holy heck was not like expecting this, what the heck? And obviously you guys just didn't know. But I know with Freya, there was a lot of like lead up to her because one, I was on a wait list for hers before the mom even like got pregnant. I was expecting this for a very long time, being well prepared, doing tons and tons and tons of research on puppies and her breed and everything. And I kind of took you guys along for the ride. I know I kept some things like secret just cause it's fun. So I know I didn't share like her name with y'all until I got Freya um, or even like her breed. I think it was the week that I got her and stuff like that. But you guys knew I was getting a puppy. Now, Bela, definitely more of a surprise to y'all. However, I have definitely been working on this for quite some time, huh? Not specifically on Bela, but definitely another puppy. I've been hinting at it. I've been looking. I've been trying to figure out what I would want and like when the best time for everything is. And we settled on a golden retriever because Cohen actually has a golden retriever black lab mix named Naya. I've introduced her on my personal channel and like Cohen's given you guys like the rundown on her. You can probably see her behind this gate because she wants some food as well while the puppy is being trained. But Cohen loves her. She is 10 years old. She is a little old lady, a sweet old lady. But he loves her breed and everything about her. He loves Goldens in general. Like, he's obsessed with, like, their tails. And Naya's just such a good girl. And we've talked about what kind of dog we would want in the future. Like, you know, when the inevitable happens. And we also just started talking on, like, would we want another dog before the inevitable happens or after kind of thing. Just, we weren't sure how to, like, navigate that. But we kind of decided on before. So they would get to meet before anything ever happens to Naya like a golden retriever in that sense they're you know awesome dogs like so loyal so loving so good with families they are smart like you can definitely train them they're really good just caring animals a lot of them become like service dogs and service animals and everything I was definitely like attracted to that aspect of the golden retriever and when I posted about Bela on my personal Instagram obviously this didn't go into my decision making but I just thought it was so freaking cool that there are so many of y'all that also have golden retrievers one but also so many of y'all who have Australian Shepherds and Golden Retrievers and I got so many DMs of your guys's like duos at home and so many little comments of just like how much we're gonna love this duo because they are amazing together like a Golden's like happy-go-lucky personality just fits so well they're so high energy too so she'll be able to keep up with Freya but that's kind of like the quickie version of how we decided on a Golden Retriever and I'm definitely happy with the decision I did say before if you've been following for a while that I had always planned on getting like a Red Merle next like I wanted two Aussies. That's definitely not ever out of the question. You know what I mean? Like obviously there's gonna be more puppies, but I just obviously love dogs in general. I'm not tied to just a breed and I truly do love the training aspect of dogs. Like my psychology degree just kicks into overdrive with a puppy. I love this challenge. Like I love the fact that I've never dealt with this breed before. Um, my family never grew up with golden retrievers. We had a chocolate lab at one point and labs are amazing. We really grew up with cats in general. So like puppies were never, it was always just adult dogs um, and then a chocolate lab so everything is new to me and I enjoy that aspect and getting to train Freya was very interesting she is so smart and I'm so excited to see the differences between like an Aussie and a golden retriever and how like their brains work and just all of their little characteristics and mannerisms and all of that kind of stuff I'm really excited to see I mentioned this in the vlog of bringing her home but we definitely felt like Bela just fell into our laps at the perfect time because as soon as I just kind of mentioned the idea of getting a golden retriever one of my friends actually was like no way like my parents breed them and I was like you're kidding me I already knew how hard it was to find Freya 
as breeder and just like searching for breeders is always hard you want to make sure that they're like good breeders and ethical and like there's so many things make sure they're not a scam so like alone finding a breeder can be so 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 tricky and we were able to see the litter a lot quicker than I was able to like see Freya I did have to drive three hours to go get Freya up in Michigan so having something local was amazing I didn't have to like do some really long excursion just to go like meet the litter and of course bring her home now her litter was all named after candy like named goober and skittles and hershey's and buckeyes her name in the litter was jelly bean and i thought that was so freaking cute i don't even think freya had a name in her litter if i'm remembering correctly like i don't remember a litter name and she definitely jumps around like a little jumping jelly bean and she was actually my friend's like favorite of the litter that is kind of how i got brought up because when i mentioned have wanting a golden retriever she just mentioned like my parents breed them like there's actually a litter coming up that they're gonna be ready soon and i was like no way like again the timing is just perfect and she knows freya she knows me she knows cohen like she knows our lifestyle and stuff so she was able to be like there's this one puppy that i think would fit in so perfectly with you guys she is my absolute favorite and i definitely want to see her go to a good home and that was jelly bean and so when we went to go see the litter that's why i mentioned that we're going to see jelly bean because that was one that was recommended to us but we wanted to see the whole litter you know i don't want to like nix them all out but jelly bean definitely was a good fit for our family and she definitely came right to us and was just super cute with us from the beginning and that's how we ended up with little miss bela bean which is why i call her bela bean or if you hear me call her like the bean or little bean that is why i definitely just want to like keep a hold of her little jelly bean heritage kind of thing or her history and if you've been around for freya videos in the beginning i also tried to not use freya's name unless i was actually trying to get her attention when i was trying to teach her her name and when she was a small puppy so i would always call her little miss instead of freya like on camera so the same kind of thing goes for miss bela here you will hear me like i said call her the bean or little bean or bela bean or something like that the backstory behind the name bela itself is actually tied to freya's name so freya's name comes from norse mythology like the vikings and stuff like that freya is a goddess i had picked this name out like a year ago whenever i knew that i was gonna get another puppy at some point i was always like hmm what would it be called what would i name her and i started to look into other like viking and norse mythology names because i wanted them to be similar i don't want to have like a freya and have a awesome backstory and then just have like a dog named daisy like daisy's a great name but it doesn't go with freya you know what i mean so i wanted one that goes with freya's name and looking through all of like the norse mythology names and stuff i found bela and i thought it was so unique because i you know you see a lot of like baileys and stuff like that but not like a bela i've never seen a bela and when i called to make her vet appointment actually and i told them their name the lady said like oh my gosh i've never heard that name that makes me feel really good because obviously at a vet's office they hear like every name under the sun and i'm sure they have 82,000 daisies but they've never heard of bela so you have a unique name so i just thought that was super cool and i love the name bela i think it fits her personality and then freya and bela just sound so good i like that they're both like related in norse mythology i like unique names i feel like i would do the same thing with like my kids so if you're curious of why we went with a golden retriever and why her name is bela i hope that shed a little bit more light on everything she's a freaking cutie at the point that i'm filming this right now she is already 10 weeks old she turned 10 weeks old yesterday and it's been so good but if you guys are not yet subscribed you definitely should down below because we will be posting weekly dog vlogs dog hauls q a's training videos all the things especially with little miss bela but of course freya bela's gonna have her monthly pup dates just like freya did and there's so many other fun things happening over on freya bela's instagram so you guys can follow them there other than that we're gonna keep training and eating our lunch because she's obsessed with food of course but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope you guys are so so excited to get to meet and hang out with bela more and more say so thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next week bye, <laughs> bye.